All right, Oyster, what do you got for me, bro? Dude, that's terror. Actually, you know what? I'll take the money. I will take the money. I'm so broke right now. I've got a 7K coin pouch. I'm good with that. Oh, wow. 79 fishing. Um, thank you, Oyster. Remember when I died to QBD a couple episodes ago? I definitely still do. I talked a lot about doing things the right way, and in the last few episodes we've done alright, but I'm a hardcore Iron Man and I've been avoiding my destiny, shirking responsibility, and not doing what I need to do to get to Telos. I need a noxious staff, which means I need to do a Raxor. To do a Raxor, I'm going to need overloads as well as ancient curses. A Reaper necklace probably won't hurt either, so let's add that to the list too. Vindict is great, but... At a certain point, you need to move on to the harder bosses and the higher tier bosses. I can't do that without those three things. In this video, it's time to quest, and it's time for big progress. Let's proceed at a rate faster than anything before. Welcome to the transformation of Fast Drag. Let's take things from the mid game to the end game with one main goal, to get ourselves a noxious staff. Dude, I did not realize that. Okay, so we've gotten a Tomb Crystal Weapon Seed. We do have to do the quest though before we can turn it into something, and we are gonna turn it into a staff. Thank you kindly for the XP. Thank you for the two quest points. You know, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. We're level 76 woodcutting and 55 runecrafting. 76 woodcutting is actually the last level I needed for Branch the Dark Mayor. So that kind of ties everything together pretty nicely. I am going to drop all these triangles on the floor. And we are now excitingly able to get ourselves an attuned crystal staff, which is absolutely sick. For right now, staff is absolutely the way to go. 2k harmonic dust down the drain. That's actually unreal. We can also augment this thing if we want to. Congratulations. A 500 fire making XP. You're too kind. All right. First quest done. Uh, Second up on our list is troll remits. I just have flowers, dude. Why did I do this? I might die here. What the hell? Hold up. Okay, no, I can leave. I can leave. That might have been like the worst hardcore death in history. Let's try that again. We meet again. Ah, that's slightly better. Slightly more like it. See, bro. There we go. Troll room, it's done. Two quest points, some agility XP. I'll take it. I just get 78 construction. Dude, that's too easy. Quest complete. 8k runecrafting XP, actually, not bad. Next on the chopping block, we have Missing My Mummy. All right, quest complete. And just like that, quest complete. Okay, that quest was actually terrible, but we're done. So, I'll take it. Lost Tribe, quest complete. Thank you. Recruitment drive quest complete. We're on 198 QPs. That took 10 minutes. My marigolds won't be done yet. So we have to do one more quest before Garden of Tranquility. Oh, they're all going to die. You already know they're all about to get bopped. Yep. That's like, that's how I imagine Ice Barrage looking. If you could Ice Barrage while wielding Chinchapas. Mr. Ceramic Phase. We got the wanted quest. There we go. Quest complete. Not bad, 199 quest points now. Also, that is level 87 magic coming in. Not a bad thing. We are gonna need 90 for that knock staff anyway, so, you know, may as well make some progress there. I could also spend probably like three days at Vyres and get it done there. What is that? That is a Zamorak hilt. Um, can I do anything with that? I don't think I can. I, I de you know what? I'm gonna go as far as to say I definitely can't, but uh, hey. Loot from doing my Reaper assignment. I'll take it. Quest complete. Oh, man. Absolutely brutal. But it's done, and we also just passed 200 quest points. Open shop. Collect all rewards. And just like that. Let's roll this thing. What do you got for me? I'm guessing, what, 500k and one fortunate component. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. I'll take it. But if we get an Onyx out of this, we go make an Amulet of Fury. 125 Corrupted Ore. Okay, that's not great. More Corrupted Ore. Also not great. And 
First, that's a million coins. Oh, get in. Oh, that was so sick. Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm not even worried about the Onyx anymore. That's so good. Oh man. Thank you so much, mining skill. Just threw me a boatload of cash. And I now have 1.8 mil. This is like almost the most money I've ever had on this account, other than when I was going for the extra life. Completely done. Unreal. Chunk of experience, no levels, but the quest is complete 24 minutes it took. Okay, one more quest and then we can finally do templates, Edison. We've actually gone and done it. 56 runecrafting. I just had enough kudos to start Temple at Seniston. Like, just. Like, pretty much to the kudos. And you know what actually got me over the hump? You get five kudos for a QBD kill. And that's the only reason I'm able to start this quest without having to do other quests. In three. In two. In one. Start the quest. Search the chest to get the Barrows icon. Okay, perfect. Watch, we'll get a drop at the same time. There it is, Barrow's Icon. Quite convenient. Put the flowers on. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the flowers, um, they have mobile on them. So they make everything a little bit quicker. And here we go. Template Senison done. Two quest points, some lamps, some lamps, prayer XP, ancient curses. Combat lamp, does it work on prayer? Works on summoning, but not prayer. Really? Okay. Uh, summoning. Okay. This one works on any skill, so we'll do herb. I kind of need level 82. Leech strength. And until I get that, curses are going to be way less good than regular prayers. So we're actually going to go back to prayers for now. But as soon as I'm 82 prayer, I can use curses and use them very effectively as well. Oh man, the XP rate on this too. It's really, really good. These are the first extremes made on the account. 121 attack bots, 73 strength bots. Should be enough. Uh, let's make some 8 bots as well while we're here. We have made our potions. I'm actually really happy with that. So now it's time to use them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Until I hit level 95 prayer, if I want to use ancient curses, I'm going to have to use the leech curses. They're not terrible, but there's a way to make them significantly better, and that is with the amulet of zealots. It requires 40k dungeoneering tokens, so why don't we head to ED3, get some tokens, get some GP, and maybe get some levels too. Alright, there we go. Goodbye! Thank you for the 5k tokens! And we keep it going. There we go! See you later! Thank you for the 5k tokens! That is level 95 attack coming in and 125 combat. Yeah, starting to think this place is broken. Just a little bit. I was insanely quick to do that. Now, I want you guys to know, I don't think this is happening. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Bye, everyone. Oh, man. That's all 51 invention. Is it going to go to zero? Uh, No, it isn't. I know, 40k tokens. Okay, let's get out of here. It's time to skedaddle. And the Zillots purchased. Next skill will be a lot faster, I think, too. Oh, yes! Oh my god, dormant animal core legs. That's such a good drop. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Dude, get in. Okay, so now all we need is a crest, and we've got DPS pants. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. There, okay. So, maybe the Zerk isn't- the Zerk is not the best. Yeah, you just take too much damage. Too bad. What is that? It's a Bando- of course it's a Bando's hilt. So, yesterday's Krill Reaper, we got a Zami hilt. Now we got a Bando's one as well. Um... Still don't have a whole lot to do with those, but... I'll- I'll take it, I guess. Better to not. Kill down! Godsword Shard 1. Wait, is that the one I need? I don't think it is. I know I'm missing one shard, but I think I've got I think I've got a bunch of those. Still, I'll uh, I'll take it I guess. And now I pelt you with rocks. I mean what? Mountain daughter done. 210 quest points now. That is glorious memories. Quest complete. Chat. This isn't bug abuse, right? You guys would consider this a clever use of game mechanics? Shout out to Duo Hard Mode for teaching me how to do this one.
What a challenging and engaging boss fight. The thrill of a lifetime. That is the completion of the Blood Runs Deep Quest. Two quest points. Bellwing, not super useful, but kind of useful. Um, most importantly, you're about to see it right now. 150k prayer XP. Wait, we're not done yet though. We are not done yet. That would be another 150k prayer XP. But wait, we are still not done yet. And another 150k prayer XP. We are now level 79. Leech magic, leech range strength, leech magic strength. I should get out of here quick. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Uh, I'm just gonna teleport out, I guess. It says I'm done the mini quest, so I'm gonna tab. Easy. Oh! Oh, what the hell? Wait. Are we good? Oh, I don't like that at all. What is going on? <laughs> that, that scared the crap out of me. All right, quest complete. That is level 96 attack. Not bad. Another kill down. Bang. Another Zerosian Essence. Okay. I can't really do a whole lot with them, but it's still kind of cool to get. You know, ends up in the loot tab. I like it. There we go. Hand in the sand. Quest complete. Which means we now have every single requirement for the Wild Gothic Sleeves quest. Let's go to the Yanil Bank and let's get prepped and let's get this quest done. Alrighty guys, it's time to start Wild Gothic Sleeves. What a beauty quest. Let's do it. That's one. Wild Magician! Oh my damage, what? Oh, I actually am a Wild Magician. Holy moly. The damage I'll put on that. Woo! And just like that, quest complete. 400,000 herbal XP. Yeah, we like that. We like that a lot. That would be 100k XP. That would be 200k XP. That would be 300k XP. And that would be 400k XP. We are now level 85 or more, five levels to overloads. We did a lot of Reapers in this episode, and finally, the fruits of our labor, we've got ourselves a Hydrix necklace. Throw a little enchant on that, and we've finally got a Reaper necklace on the Hard Crying Man. I used a spicy stew to boost the five levels from 85 to 90, and we are now good to go. I mean, good to go do more quests in the next one because we've got about, you know, a hundred more of those to do. But still, really good progress for this one. I think our stats are looking really nice and I'm excited to continue pushing in the next one.